Now that we're coming to the end of our series, it is important. We've talked about the reality of Iman. Iman is in the heart and the tongue and the limbs. We've talked about how important it is. We've talked about many of the branches of Iman. We've talked about the fruits and the blessings of Iman. Now the question that we need to ask ourselves, how can I fortify my Iman? How can I ensure that my Iman lasts and increase it from year to year and day by day? And what must I be careful of so that my Iman does not go down? And to be honest, as with all of my topics and these topics, you can give so many lectures, we only have you know, 10 to 12 minutes, so we'll try to summarize. I will summarize the causes of the increase of Iman in a number of points. Number one, why and how does Iman increase? Number one, the most important, it is knowledge, ilm. To have knowledge of the Quran and of the Sunnah. Allah says in the Quran, Shahid Allahu Annahu La ilaha illa huwa, wal malaikatu, wa ulul ilmi qa'iman bil qist. Allah testifies to the kalima of Iman. And the angels testify to the kalima of Iman. And the people of knowledge testify to the kalima of Iman. Notice Ibn al Qayyim says that the greatest honor that ilm has been given is that Allah spoke on behalf of the people of knowledge with Without even them having to say something. Allah became their representative and Allah spoke on their behalf and Allah said, the real people of knowledge, they testify to the kalima of Iman. Shahid Allahu annahu la ilaha illa huwa wal malaika wa ulul ilmi qa'iman bil qist. So knowledge is the number one foundational factor that increases our Iman. Knowledge of what? Of many things. Knowledge of the Quran, recitation of the Quran, tadabbur of the Quran, simply reading the Quran will increase our Iman. Listening to the Quran will increase our Iman. And that is why it is so important that Ramadan is coming to an end, that our relationship with the Quran does not come to an end. I encourage myself and all of you to add 5, 10, 15 minutes every day into your routine, especially early morning, right before breakfast, after Fajr. This should be your spiritual breakfast. Read some Quran, even if it is 5 minutes, do it on a day daily basis and you will see how much your iman increases as you're driving to and from work don't just waste your time listening to the news or other things that will change every day spend a few minutes with the quran a few minutes with knowledge so that your iman will increase and not just knowledge of the quran but also especially knowledge of allah and of allah's names and attributes of the easiest way of increasing iman is to study the names of allah and i have given a series right from this member on the series of the names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Knowledge of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It's the seerah. Why does the seerah increase our iman? Because we see iman being lived out. We see the greatest embodiment of iman. Our Nabi, our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and how he lived. So reading the seerah, listening to the seerah, learning what the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, learning his hadith, listening to his hadith, all of this will increase our iman. And also studying the role models of the Sahaba and of the previous prophets and of the great scholars. When you study any of aspect of Islam, your Iman will increase. So this is the first and that is knowledge. The second way to increase our Iman, the Quran mentions, it is called reflecting on the natural signs. إِنَّ فِي خَلْقِ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَاخْتِلَافِ اللَّيْلِ وَالنَّهَارِ لَآيَاتٍ لِأُولِي الْأَلْبَابِ That reflecting upon the signs around us that we take for granted. The rain, the thunder, the storm, the night, the day, the sun, the moon, our lives, the cycle of life. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions, وَفِي أَنفُسِكُمْ أَفَلَا تُبْصِرُونَ Don't you look at your own creation and marvel? Allah mentions in the Quran, أَفَلَا يَنظُرُونَ إِلَى الْإِبِلِ كَيْفَ خُلِقَتْ Don't you see the camel and how it is created? The sky and how it is raised up, the mountains and the earth, the water. So Allah is asking us to think and to reflect. And I speak here, especially all of us in this audience, Alhamdulillah, we are educated, we've studied science and biology and chemistry and physics. If you go to these sciences with Iman, then these sciences in and of themselves will increase your Iman. Now if you don't have Iman, these sciences will not bring you Iman. But if you approach biology, 
if you approach the human anatomy, if you approach medicine, if you approach any natural science, believing in Allah, and you look at the world around you through natural science, then you will be amazed and every facet that you study, every detail that you memorize, every minutia that you comprehend, your iman will go up. You will see how perfect is the creation of Allah. You will see how everything fits into place and you will marvel and in that marveling your iman will go up. But there is a condition you have to approach with iman. If you approach with no iman, then you can win a, uh, the Nobel Prize in biology and it will not bring you iman. But if you approach the sciences with iman, then those sciences themselves will give you iman. Number three, how do we increase our iman? Each and every good deed, every action, every amal is like water to the tree of Iman. This is one of the most important aspects to increase our Iman. Iman will never go up merely based on theoretical knowledge until it is acted upon, until it is implemented. And therefore, we need to have a healthy routine of rituals, of salah, of ibadat, of dhikr. We have to do things for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Our heart has to have yaqeen, it has to have tawakkul, our tongue has to be doing dhikr and Quran and dua, our body, it must be doing salah and sajda and all of the good deeds. Without good deeds, the tree of iman will wither away. That tree of iman, it needs water. And our scholars say the water of the tree of iman is our good deeds. If we do not do good deeds, the tree of iman will die because we have not fed it. We need to feed that tree with our own good deeds. So of the most important mechanisms to increase our iman is to do good deeds. And in particular, brothers and sisters, for those of us that have lived lifestyles that we are regretful and repentful for, then the best good deed that a Muslim can do is to go for Hajj. That is the best single good deed, that is a transformative good deed, that should be a transformative deed, is to go for Hajj. As our Prophet ﷺ said, that an accepted Hajj has nothing less than the reward of Jannah. So if we have lived lifestyles that we're regretful of, and we want to change and have a clean slate, then we should aim to go for this good deed. But any good deed will increase our Iman. And one of the things that we need to mention as well is that Iman like a tree also has enemies. And if we don't take care of those enemies, the tree will wither away. So how and why does Iman decrease? Again, much can be said. We'll summarize as fast as I can. There are internal and external factors. Internal factors of why Iman decreases. Three things. Number one, ignorance. When you don't know, then you will lead, you will lead, it will lead you to doubt. When you don't know, you don't understand something, shaitan will come to you and you're gonna start doubting something of Islam. This doesn't make sense. Why is this the case? Ignorance and the cure to ignorance is knowledge. Number two of the things that decreases iman is heedlessness, ghafla. To simply not care, lackadaisical. Just to live a lifestyle where your heart is not attached to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the cure to ghafla obviously is ibadah and routine. The cure to ghafla is dhikr and the Quran. The cure to ghafla is to be aware of Allah and to increase our taqwa. So number two is the concept of ghafla. And when your heart is ghafil, and ghafil here means to be disconnected, to be unaware, then this will lead to a hardening of the heart. Number three, one one of the biggest destroyers of the tree of Iman, some scholars have said these are like the weeds that feed on the tree of Iman, are the sins that we do. The sins that we commit weaken our Iman. In other words, every good deed makes the tree of Iman grow. And every sin hacks away at the tree of Iman. Literally every day our tree grows and shrinks in accordance with our good deeds and our sins. The more good deeds we do, the bigger the tree. And that is why right now at the end of Ramadan, for many of us, this is perhaps the pinnacle of our tree of Iman in the year. We feel it, we sense it. But the point is we want to keep it as much as possible. If we return to all the sins that we did, then the tree of Iman will decrease until it goes back to what it معنا نهج حياة جنة